This is another example of fraction models. We're going to look at models that go just lengthwise rather than length and height. Um, we're going to go from the concrete or the three-dimensional. We're going to move into the two-dimensional and then we'll get into the symbolic which is numbers and that. Um, students often have difficulty moving from area to length and not making the connection. So if we were doing fraction strips, for example, and we want to make models of two-thirds. So first of all, we need to find out which one of these equals one. So then the yellows are going to be too small. If this is one, here's my example of two-thirds. Here's my Cousinaire rods. Then I need to find what other rod can I have three of to make my thirds? And it's going to be the green. So these go out. There's another two thirds. Uh, one thing that we tend to forget are things in real life. If we were um, having a student race and it's a hundred meter dash, at what point is that runner at two-thirds? So kids could actually go outside with a digital camera and take a picture. Um, we could say, here's my couch. And the thirds are the three cushions underneath. Maybe older brother's sitting on the couch and he's taking up two-thirds of it. Get kids to go and find examples that are in their life where this takes place. Um, if this is one, how do I find something that equals a third? Those are too small. So these equal thirds. Here's my two thirds here. We could equate this with a length of a two by four. If I need to cut it two thirds the length, this is what it's going to look like. This could be my flower bed, for example, and maybe I have red flowers on both ends. The flag is another good example. If I take the two red sections on the outside, can I show two-thirds on, on the flag? Just using the length. Um, another example would be a number line. Supposing this is the distance from zero to one, I want to know where two-thirds two are. Now in these other examples, we found actual examples, but could we do some paper folding here? If I put it in half, can I get to a third by knowing that? And let the students figure it out. Your job isn't there to, to tell them what the answer is. Let them figure it out. So all of these were models of length going in one direction.